Peace, love, and light, my beautiful Scorpios. Welcome to First Eye Visions. My name is Q, and I am here to do a general reading for you all. I will, everyone is blissed and well. Today is Thor's Day, so we are going to tap into the energy, see what's coming and going out, going on for the beloveds. Um, I will, this full moon and Mercury retrograde combination hasn't been too hard on you. Um, that's part of the reason why I wanted to do the reading, because I was feeling uh, some type of energy that I wanted to tap into. It almost feels, <clears throat> it's like a block, you know, maybe something's trying to block you all, but I feel you're very, uh, you're very protected, Scorpios. I just feel that armor of protection, fiery wall of protection around you all. And so I really, truly just want to chime in, tap in, tune in, see what's coming and going on, going on for you all. Um, for anyone that may be new, welcome to the channel. Uh, my name is Q. As I said, I am intuitive, I'm empathic, and I'm also clairaudient. So you will hear music playing in the background. Right now we have, uh, what is this? Faith Evans, and this is called Tears of Joy. So I feel like you all are going to be coming into uh, there's some news that's going to be coming into you uh, and it's going to really make you excited. Um, I'm seeing almost like I'm seeing, you know, how they show those videos of people who win like uh, publishers clearing house sweepstakes and they knock on the door and they got this big check. That's kind of like what I literally just saw in my mind's eye. So it can be like a financial blessing that's going to bring some sort of uh, tears of joy. It could be a job promotion, unexpected, just out of the blue. Your supervisor rings you up and says, hey, uh, there's a position that opened up and I feel like you'll be the best suited for it. And not only is the position in and of itself something that you literally um, weren't expecting, but it's like the bump in your pay is going to be exceptional. It's going to be um, astounding is what I'm seeing in my mind I astounding so it's like some of you all are going to be like you never even imagine making that type of money uh, for some of you all there could be some sort of business deal maybe somebody's been following you um, and they believe in your product they believe in um, in your talents and they want to invest so they may write you a check of like I'm seeing the number fifty thousand dollars and that's going to be, you know, exceptional in terms of helping you to restock, to uh, get inventory that you need to continue uh, to, um, you know, grow your business. Uh, but I see investments. I see someone investing in you. I see that there's some sort of uh, monetary blessing that's coming in for you. Some of you all may just stop off at the local gas station and just get a scratch off and you sitting in your car scratching off with the penny you found in your glove compartment and you see one followed by six zeros and you screaming and the, per the car next to you is looking at you like you crazy. And it's because you literally just won like a million dollars. I'm seeing one zero 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 zero. So I'm seeing like one million dollars for some of you all. Um, many of you all could just be feeling like a million bucks. You know, you feel like you got your groove back. You feel like things are uh, looking up for you. You know, that cloud that was looming over you is gone. You know, things are, um, you know, things just feel lighter. I feel a, a, like you're light. You're lighter now. You're not as heavy. Uh, you're not carrying around the burdens, the stress, the aggravation. Um, on your shoulders anymore. I feel like a lot of you have already uh, severed the ties to those type of, uh, you know, vampiric, how do you say that? Vampiric energies. Like you're not um, entangled in anything that brings your vibration down. Uh, so many of you are just super protective of your energy. You're also very sensitive. So you could already uh, detect when someone's intentions aren't pure. So you don't even waste time um, dealing with certain things. You keep people at a, at a distance um, and you're very mindful of who you allow in your circle. It's almost like you're rebuilding. And so now it's almost like you, you're recruiting the right people, so to speak. You're not just going to just let any old person fill the position of, you know, a lover, a friend or someone that you may 
call a friend or someone that um, you know you may call family. It's like you're you're doing the recruiting, so you're like the hiring manager, so to speak. And it's like they gotta they gotta meet certain criteria and requirements to even get in your inner circle. So I'm getting all of that just from tears of joy. So let's go ahead and do some house cleaning um, before we delve any deeper. Anyone that may be new, um, as I said, my name is Q. Um, I this will be a general reading, so my spiel is eat the fish, spit out the bones. If it doesn't apply, just let it fly by. Do not try to force a story to be your story. Just know that you're more than just your sun sign. Check your moon, check your rising, check your Venus, check your Mercury, your Mars. Just check your other placements to get a more clear and concise message for you. Um, this is also a timeless reading. Uh, so that means whenever you find yourself clicking on this video, that's exactly the divine timing intended for you all to do so. So let's go ahead, call upon the uh, elements of water, fire, earth, air, ether, and spirit. Ashe. I ask our beautiful angels, archangels, ancestors, spirit guides, deities, animal totems, the ascended masters, beautiful earth, mother Gaia, universe, source, the divine, most high God, our creator to shine a powerful, powerful message of love and life for our beautiful Scorpios. I call personally upon Baba Obatala, Mama Oya, to bless me with the intuition and discernment of my cards. And so it is, so mote be, ashe, ashe, ashe. So right now we have um, Notorious B.I.G. And this is called Life After Death. This is that album. So I do feel like, as I said, there's this, this transformative energy, this shift in consciousness. Um, and I see here, look at that, number 13. So death is the uh, 13th card in traditional tarot. And we have Notorious B.I.G. This is the album Life After Death. So I do feel like um, you all have transformed. And the name of this song is Kick in the Door. So I do feel like you're like you're kicking in the door and you're going to just like you're starting a movement. You're about to revolutionize some shit. Um, and it's because you're 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 applying pressure. It's like you're now making the effort. Um, I feel like your efforts are also paying off. It's bringing in some level of stability. Um, it's also because you've transformed that you now are, you know, kind of changing and shifting um, the energy around you, so to speak. Um, so this is 13, 13 breaks down to four. So I feel like now um, you're going to have people that are more willing to put in the effort because maybe in the past you were dealing with a lot of uh, lackadaisical mofos, people that weren't willing to match your vibration. So it was like you was doing everything in those partnerships. Like I said before, I was feeling like, um, you know, just feeling overburdened. Uh, in the past and now you're you're lighter so people know now they're going to have to to put in the effort they're going to have to um they're going to have to reciprocate they're going to have to meet you where you are because you've kind of raised the bar raised your standards uh and and you're very protective so it's like you know with this number four that also is like you know after um, the tower falls. It's like now you have to rebuild. So it's like this four is is you rebuilding on a more solid foundation. So it's like whatever was destroyed is now being rebuilt. And as I said, you're more particular about who you're recruiting to be in your life to fill those positions that of those that you have since cut off. So there's going to be people willing to make the effort. People that are going to put in more effort. So let's get some messages, divine spirit, love and light. Let's see what we got coming in, going out, going on. This is going to be a short read. I usually do deep dives. And this one is just going to be a little toe dip, dip your toe in. <laughs> this is a peaky peak, peekaboo. You know, we're going to take a peaky peek. See that this completion card wanted to jump out. So you've literally just come, had some sort of karmic completion, completed some sort of cycle. Uh, you've come full circle. And now there's this sense of, you know, um, you know, starting, uh, you know, starting a whole new voyage, you know. So this is beautiful. So let's see what we got coming and going out and going on divine spirit. And we have um, brand new. See that? You got a brand new start. Look at this healing on the bottom of the deck. 
so you are looking at life with a completely different lens now. Um, you know, life is, is like exciting to you now. You've been doing a whole lot of healing. That 66 is really um, just chiming in on all of the internal work that you've had to do. And you found balance uh, emotionally, spiritually, mentally. Um, you just feel more aligned. You feel more grounded. You know, so let's tap and tune in. And I feel it's like after heartbreak. So the bottom of the deck, we have personal growth. Look at that. So you have grown, just like I said, you've grown not only um, in terms of, you know, from whatever tumultuous experience, but you've grown psychically, you know, like you are more intuitive, you're more psychically um, sensitive, you're like sensitive to energy to, you know, and that's why I was picking up the sense that you were like very mindful of the people that you're choosing, who you're selecting, who you're recruiting to be in your life. So you're taking more time, you know, to evaluate people's intentions, to assess certain situations. And with synchronicity, some of you all are seeing a lot of synchronicities to the point where you may feel like you're going crazy. Um, there's this movie called Number 23 um, with my guy. I love him so much. Um, Jim Carrey. Uh, so some of you all may be seeing 23s everywhere because that's the first thing I thought of was 23. But some of you all may just be seeing, you know, 777, 444. Today, literally, I saw 444 when I woke up. And then when I went out for a drive to take my daughter to work, um, I was seeing 77777 everywhere. So there's some sort of luck, some sort of blessing, some sort of abundance. Some of you all could be seeing 888. Um, I saw the numbers uh, 305 in the clouds yesterday when I woke up. Um, early in the a.m., I looked out of my window and I saw literally in the clouds the numbers 305. and 5. So some of you all may be seeing 333, 555. Some of you may be seeing 888. So the synchronicity card, pay attention uh, because I do feel like there is some very profound downloads. This 87 reduces to 15, 15 reduces to 6. So your first eye is wide open. So the divine is telling you to trust your intuition because you have grown spiritually. You're very sensitive right now to energy. And that's why I feel like a lot of you are just very particular about who you have around you. Um, I also feel like you have a, a, a special person that could be communicating to you, um, could be communicating to you psychically. So I'm going to put that back in, give the cards a bang, bang, boogie. I'm going to put all of these back in because this is too many cards. So let's do this again. Somebody could be coming in. Somebody could definitely be coming in. So we have um, Ty Dollar Sign and uh, this is called So Am I. Okay, so am I. So somebody else could also be mirroring your energy as well. Because remember on that healing card, it was six, six. So you and someone else could be mirroring, uh, you know, mirroring um, in terms of um, energy, in terms of experiences. So you could have like a twin uh, that could be coming in, you know, somebody that could be. I'm just going to cut the card again and just to get our message because everything broke off. So we have pride. So I do feel like with this 12, um, 10, uh, that, that is telling me somebody's having an ego death. You know, maybe some of you were up in your head a lot, or maybe some of you were uh, kind of like just trying to kind of control the narrative or control things. And you're now just kind of like giving the divine um, the reins. You're no longer trying to uh, control the narrative or the timing of things. You're just kind of giving in. You're just kind of like surrendering, if you will, to the divine, to the divine timing of things, because maybe you uh, had some sort of time uh, restraint or a time. Um, what do you say? How do you say that? You had some sort of time depiction, not depiction, prediction. You had some sort of time prediction um, that you was expecting something to come in. And I feel like you had to just relinquish control. You know, this is like the death of ego, the death of an ego, because that's 19. So that's like 10. So this is like the end of someone's pride. Maybe someone who was being very proud in the past has also gone through tremendous growth. 
And with this orange, maybe there's uh, some sort of attraction towards you because that is the number of, uh, I mean, the color of like the sacral chakra. And that usually deals with like feminine energy. That's the energy of like creativity, you know, because that's where all of the, you know, the womb, you know, all of the uh, reproductive organs and the divine feminine um, is located. So that's about creativity, fertility, all of that. So somebody could just be very attracted to you, drawn to you. And maybe they was trying to be very proud, very stubborn, and they've grown, they've matured, they're ready to, you know, start this um, new beginning. Somebody's saying, uh, some, so am I. So they're, you know, saying that they are feeling this. we got spiritual career. So many of you are, you know, and have been kind of honing and developing your spiritual gifts and talents. You've been honing those skills, um, just focusing on improving and, and mastering those skills, whether you craft candles, whether you create anointing oils, jewelry, woodcraft, uh, whatever it is, even if you're a painter, an artist and singer, a writer, a producer, it's like, you know, you do something that is um, very spiritually inclined. And I feel like you will eventually um, be in the position of helping to heal the collective or providing services to the collective. Maybe you already do this uh, by means of having like a tarot. Um, you know, maybe you have a tarot channel or you're a psychic, a channeler. Maybe you're a Reiki healer and you offer services uh, online, you know. And I feel like this is also with the 78 um, this is saying that you are, you know, very uh, spiritually aligned. Like it's like you are, um, you're living your life's purpose. It's like the divine has assigned you this role. I feel like you're very good at what you do. I feel like you also love what you do. There's uh, like emotional fulfillment. Like you feel fulfilled. You feel content doing this. Um, so divine spirit of love and light. Maybe you're getting downloads about pursuing some sort of um some sort of uh, career path and you're kind of, you know, thinking about what other people will say and the divine is telling you to do it. And we have new beginnings. So like I said, you're, you're on the precipice of something new. This is after the death of something. So we see here that you have evolved. This is the, the red. So that's the root chakra. So this is about you standing erect, standing uh, perpendicular in your square. Uh, this is also um, about you, you know, focusing on your stability, your security, you know, spoke, focusing on legacy, family, you know, your career of choice, you know, making those decisions, um, that are going to be beneficial to you. Like you're not going to just do anything. It's like this time you're stepping out and you're following what you feel passionate about, what you feel drawn to do. And we see here health, and this is 81. So if some of you all were um, suffering from some sort of health uh, conditions, I do feel that you will um, be healing quite beautifully like you are because this is 81 so I feel like your your prayers are going to be answered in terms of your health maybe some of you were concerned uh, with something or you got some um, some disturbing news about uh, some sort of test results and now you're getting um, a positive like a uh, an answered prayer this is like a wish fulfillment because I see with the 71 that's eight so it's making me think of um, like the star you know so this is like you are healing you know you're healing quite beautifully and I feel like the divine could be giving you some divine downloads in terms of like natural remedies maybe you're doing things more um, you know, you're following a more holistic, uh, you know, um, remedy opposed to uh, doing, you know, what, uh, you know, the doctors are telling you and you're starting to see those results. And it's because you're getting those downloads straight from the divine. It's like the divine is saying, hey, um, you know, if you have, say, for instance, you, you have like a cough instead of going to the store and buying like Robitussin or something, you know, spirit is telling you, hey, go get some bay leaves, get some honey you know, um, and, and, and soak those bay leaves, boil it and drink that. And then next thing you know, the, the cough is gone. You feel like it's alleviated or maybe the divine is telling you, hey, if you have some sort of rash that breaks out, the divine will tell you to take a spoonful or two of some baking soda, 
put a little bit of water, not tap water, not, you know, sink water, but, you know, drinking water, spring water. Put a little bit of water and just stir it around and just apply it on that area. And then you rinse it off and you see that the, the rash has, you know, has gone, has, is, is subsided. It's like it's going away. So it's like you, you're getting those divine downloads. So it's like trust what you're feeling, trust what you're sensing. Don't just do, you know, get, get, go into uh, meditation because I feel like spirit is giving you some holistic ways to heal thyself. So let's see what else we have. Thank you, spirit. What else we have? Thank you. So bottom of the deck, karmic completion. And we already know that you've completed a cycle because you have new beginnings there. So this is just confirmation. Let's see what's on the bottom. You got relationship change and you also have completion. See that? So there was a completion of a karmic relationship. So some of you all, we already know that narrative um, that you all ended a karmic relationship. And I feel like you all are now going to be entering into a more spiritual partnership. You're going to enter into a spiritual union with your divine counterpart. And um, and I say that because, you know, this 56 that reduces to 11, you know, so this is about you um, coming into union with someone that is also going to be. Uh, very similar to you. I'm hearing like mind in my mind's eye. And as we see here with this new beginning, this is going to be a new voyage. This is you literally rebuilding from the ground up, as I said, because the base chakra, the root chakra is the first chakra. And it's no coinky dink that Scorpios rule, um, you know, that chakra, you know, as do as does um, Archangel Mikael. So I do feel like Archangel Mikael could be very, very um, special to some of you all. Like you may work with Archangel Mikael. Um, I know I do. I'm currently doing a nine week, um, you know, um, prayer to Archangel Mikael. And it's uh, the way you do that is is every Tuesday for the for the for nine weeks, you light a candle and you just pray to Archangel Mikael. You do, um, you know, you, you do your Hail Mary. Um, Ah, man, I don't want to give you misinformation. There are three special prayers. I'll leave the information in the description box for you because I do feel like um, that message is for someone because I said it. So some of you all may need to do that. And and basically uh, he brings through miracles like Archangel Mikael gets busy. Uh, so, you know, some of you all may need to do that particular um, that particular prayer. It's a nine week prayer. So you have to light your candle. Um, and you say your prayer, you, you ask for what you need, uh, and you do that consistently for nine weeks. Um, and you'll see things improve, open up, wish fulfillment. Uh, so some of you all could be doing that, but I also feel Archangel Mikael was very um, influential in a lot of you breaking free uh, from a karmic, you know, I feel like there was a lot of, of, of entanglements. Um, I feel there was uh, like hexes, curses, yokes, and, um, and these were not just your doing. I feel like uh, a lot of you um, were breaking generational curses. You know, a lot of you were breaking the yokes uh, that were developed before your time, before you was even a thought, you know. And I feel like with this 10, the divine is literally saying like, you know, you, you've successfully done this and you didn't do it alone. Archangel Mikael was very, very um, significant in assisting you as were a lot of your angels and ancestors and guides. So let's see what else we have. We have communication. So someone is uh, definitely mustering up the courage and the strength to communicate. I think they do uh, communicate with you a lot telepathically. I also feel like, you know, a lot of you are growing stronger in your psychic abilities. As I said earlier, there's a sense that you're being, you're very sensitive um, and you're picking up messages uh, you know, everywhere, you know, it's like you could be somewhere and you just get a download. And I feel like you have to trust what you're feeling. You have to learn to trust your own intuition, your own inner gumption and go with it. The three is the, um, is associated with the, uh, sacral chakra. And because this is yellow, it's like, there is a light that's shining within you. So it's like, there's, there's this, this profound, um, healing ability that I feel you all have, you know, I feel like you all have been able to truly uh, heal thyself. I feel like you're very strong. Um, you're very courageous now. It's like you're, you're, you're speaking your truth. You're standing up uh, for what you believe in. And I feel like there's just this energy of um, psychic, you're psychic because this 33 is also reduced to six. 
So it's like, you know, there's there's also communication. I feel like you have a lot of communication um, with someone either telepathically or intuitively or someone is doing, you know, trying to communicate with you. Uh, this is someone I don't feel like you're speaking to anymore because uh, we have um, Latoya Luckett. And this is called not anymore. So maybe somebody that you're not communicating with uh, in the 3D anymore is communicating with you in the 5D, you know, so via your dreams, they may visit you in your dreams. You may be waking up and seeing someone in particular that you may not have seen for years. And you're just like, dang, why was that person in my dream? And it's because they're uh, thinking of you they You're heavily like this person carries you in their spirit. You know, so let's see what else we have. We have adventure. So something exciting is, is, is about to unfold. Um, I feel like, you know, if you were doing things very regimented, very routine, and if you were reserved previously, I feel like you're going to step outside of your comfort zone now more. I feel like you feel more spontaneous. You know, it's like you, you have a zest. I'm hearing the word a zest for life. You're more more inclined to step outside of your comfort zone opposed to just doing what feels comfortable. I feel like some of you all might um, be looking to like um, do a, like a, a skydive. I just saw somebody like skydiving. So you're going to be more adventurous. Things that you were like uh, paralyzed, afraid of in the past. It's like you're now going to like confront your fears. You're being fearless, you know, it's like you're, you're going to live fearlessly, you know, and not recklessly, but just fearlessly. You're not going to, it's like, I, I see no holds barred in my mind's eye, no holds barred. It's like, you're just going to do whatever you feel like doing because you're not going to be restricted anymore. The name of the song is not anymore. So you're no longer that person you used to be. It's like the death of that person. You know, the death of the person that was trying to control everything and keep everything safe and, and, and pristine. It's like now it's like you're going to be more daring. You're going to be more risky. You know, you're going to step outside of your comfort zone. That's beautiful. Look at this. And we have love. So you all are absolutely um, not only do you have love coming in, but I feel like you have um, love of self. You know, it's like when you heal that self, you love that self. When you love that self, then you really truly know that self. And that's what I feel you all have done. You've all, you know, got to the point where you're practicing self-care. You know, you're, you're more uh, inclined to uh, prioritize you first. Whereas in the past, you could have put everything, everyone before yourselves. And now you're not doing that. Now you're more mindful to do what feels good to you. Whatever's going to uh, keep you in this position of feeling balanced. And that's not only in just in love. This is also within your careers. This is within your, your, your uh, goals, your endeavors, your dreams. It's like it has to all align. The six is also speaking to, uh, again, psychic telepathic communication. You see how we got two sixes and their communication. This is a blue card now. The blue deals with the throat chakra. So I feel like also, you know, somebody is going to be expressing their love for you. Somebody could be coming in and expressing how they feel. This is something they may have held back, something they may not have communicated to you ever. And I feel like now somebody with this adventure in between that, they're going to be more risky. They're going to take a risk. They're going to just say, you know what? Fuck it. I'm not going to be um, hindered anymore. I'm going to just express this. But this love, this is someone that absolutely, uh, I feel the divine is, is aligning you with someone uh, that you may have prayed for, that you may have, um, you know, that you may have manifested. This is someone you could have manifested. And I feel like there is going to be an expression and a show of love with you and this special person. And so right now what's playing? So we have um, Bloodstone Natural High. So you have someone that's gonna make you feel like you're on cloud nine. This is someone that's just gonna make you feel good. And so we have, look at this, we got power on the back of the next deck I'll be using. 
so the witch's hat so you have the power so i do feel like you're mastering um some ability to manifest you're like becoming the alchemist you're the magi so you're setting intention you're doing visualizations you're writing down uh, or scribing and p sending up those petitions to the divine but i feel like um you also are picking up that love is coming in because you're very psychic you're very powerful you're very intuitive and you're sensitive to energy and if you look at the top of this witch's hat there's a, a an array of colors so there's green, there's yellow, and that yellow deals with the strength. That green deals with the heart chakra, and that red deals with the root chakra. So the, I do feel like this is just speaking to how you've like been able to unblock all of those chakras, and now you're in your power. But I feel like with this natural high, some of you are just very content. You know, you're feeling very emotionally balanced, you know, and I feel like you're attracting someone that you know everything is just going to hap happen very organically between the two of you it isn't going to be um it isn't going to be like work i also remember the effort card so this person is going to show you that they like you show you that they are interested so i'm, I'm hearing the word courting so they will court you you know this is like somebody very old school because this is an old school jam so this is like somebody that's going to have like some tact this is a man that is like an alpha male. Or this will be a female, a feminine energy um, that still holds those principles, you know, that your grandmothers had upheld. You know, someone that knows to, you know, keep a good home, you know, to cook for the family, to to um, nurture and love on their partner, you know, to be, you know, to be that alpha female, to be that nurturer, that lover, that, you know, that caretaker, if you will. So the bottom of the deck feminine i was just talking about the feminine energy this is the divine feminine and we have um, lady goddess so this is the energy you all are in this is what you have uh evolved into see that personal growth and feminine and even if you're masculine this is your energy as well maybe you've learned to balance your masculine with the feminine energy and that's why you have you know personally grew and that's why you're now tapped into your intuition you know, but this feminine energy is the divine feminine who can uh, do all of the things that I was just saying. So you have learned to um, own the power that you possess and look at the masculines right underneath that. Look at that. So you are attracting, you know, this divine feminine is very attractive. She's alluring, you know, and others will find you very intriguing. You know, they're, they're like I said, sensual. There's something sensual and sexy about you, you know, and it's your ability to um, just be very loving, very nurturing. You have this natural uh, caretaking ability. You're also um, a creative, you know, you're very abundant. You're very uh, much a master manifester and you're very you're sensitive, but you're strong at the same time. And not even sensitive. It's like you're delicate, but you're strong at the same time. Just like that, that rose that she is like, you know, kind of um, sitting on. You know, the rose is, is, is beautiful because it's like a rose can grow from concrete. Tupac had written a beautiful poem about a rose that grew from concrete. And so it just shows you the, 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 the endurance, you know, the strength. You know, so this is like, you know, your growth. You've gone through enormous, enormous change, tumultuous times, painful losses. But you've 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 evolved and emerged someone so powerful, so beautiful, so strong. So that's absolutely gorgeous. And this divine masculine. Look at that. Even in traditional tarot, whenever you see the empress, that means the emperor isn't too far behind. He's literally right behind her. And this is because this is what you are drawing to you because your energy is like like attracts like, you know, and we have Nipsey Hussle and it says status symbol. So you all I feel like the status symbol for a divine feminine and divine masculine is spiritual union, a spiritual partnership. This is somebody that's going to come in and they will court you. As I said, they will be that protector, that provider, that alpha either masculine or feminine energy. You will be an alpha. So let's see what we have coming in, divine spirit. So why is pride here for our beloved Scorpios? Why is pride here? We have the message 
Fabulo Scorpios. Why is pride here? Why is pride here, Fabulo Scorpios, Divine Spirit? Why is pride here? Thank you. So pride. And we have, um, look at this, manifestation fell on the floor. But pride was here. I mean, boundaries was here on the table, and I got this one. So I'm going to go with this because this makes more sense. Pride. And what did I say? Boundaries. So this is what you had to do. You know, this is about, you know, maybe you, like I said, you were, you were um, going through some sort of ego death. And this sword literally provided the clarity, the illumination, you know, the sword of truth, which made you look at yourself, the reflection in the mirror, that reflection looking back at you showed you that, you know, maybe you needed to relinquish the control and just surrender to the divine, divine timing, and not have these time uh, restraints or expectations, if you will. You know, expectations are always going to let you down because nothing will ever happen when you think it's going to happen. So this boundaries is, is literally like just cutting yourself free, um, you know, for the things that no longer serve you, you know, cutting yourself free from uh, certain belief systems, you know, getting the clarity, as I said, you know, having that sort of truth. If you was in um, two minds, if you were going through uh, confusion, it's like you were able to see things clearly with that sort of truth and cut yourself free where, you know, certain faulty belief systems and ideologies, um, you know, could be now, you know, released. You no longer are holding on to those things because as we see here, we got status symbols. So as I said, you know, pride and ego will have people doing things that um, aren't necessarily beneficial or conducive to their benefit you know, to their betterment rather. And so, you know, with status symbol, people could have been just like just going along to get along because they wanted to appear a certain way. But that's more so pride and ego. And so, as I said in the beginning, I feel like somebody had an ego death. You know, maybe somebody that is, um, you know, who was who was seen looking at things, uh, you know, from a different perspective. And now they're they were forced to see the truth with this sort of truth boundaries. So we have manifestation. So as I was saying, you know, you all have manifested a lot. You all have been the ones that have manifested this newness, these new beginnings, you know, that you are now um, having uh, envelop uh, uh, over you and around you and all over and in your life. It's like you've manifested these things. As I said earlier, some of you all were scribing and penning letters, petitions, you know, maybe you were writing in your um, manifestation journals. But this is you, you know, this is the divine saying that you've manifested all of this, even by speaking these things, you know, affirming them, claiming them, you know, and this is why you have these new beginnings, because these are, um, it's what you've asked for. It's what you've prayed for. So let's see what else we have. We have respect. See that? Someone respects you. I feel like you get a lot of um, respect, even at your places of employment. People see your worth. They see what you bring to the table. They see that you're a very, um, a very, what's the word I'm looking for? Essential part of the team. You know, maybe you all communicate very well. You know, maybe some of you all are like um, in your roles at your places of employment. You may have to communicate a lot either orally or, you know, even via email. And, you know, maybe you get a lot of, of, of compliments. People appreciate you and enjoy working with you because they feel that you're great communicators. You know how to keep the momentum going. You know, it's almost like you're a light, you know, it's like you're a light, a ray of sunlight. You bring a sense of, um, you know, joy and, and love and kindness to the environment it's like you you literally are shining there and it's like it's because you're balanced within so it's like it 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 it, it, it um it kind of resonates it's like you're exuding this energy you're a great communicator people love you know how you are um you know that they they love how you communicate they love how you work and i feel like this this is garnering the respect of your peers you know, this beautiful energy. I like that. Even the person that could be like wanting to communicate with you. This could be someone you may have worked with in the past. 
see this and the chalice cup is here fulfillment so this is someone some of you all for some of you you may have worked with the secret admirer i feel like this person is a secret admirer because i don't feel like they've ever expressed how they feel towards you or for you and i feel like this person has been holding in the fact that they love you the fact that they're attracted to you the fact that they have these deep emotions and we have the avalanches because i'm me and so this person this is just probably like something within their own personality where they may reserve or just suppress like their emotions or they don't express their feelings they're not very communicative and I'm seeing the King of Cups, the traditional King of Cups, where this person is watching you, but you may not know. You know how the King of Cups, that the, his head is turned um, one way, but his eyes are looking in another. So it's almost like they don't want you to know. Maybe this person never wanted you to know how they felt. Maybe they never communicated, and now they're getting some sort of epiphany that they need to communicate, or they're having some sort of illumination. I feel like you've been manifesting this person and calling them in, which is why they're feeling this urge. And this is why they're, you know, kind of carrying you around in their spirit. It's because you're doing the same. But there's emotional fulfillment coming in. Why is this? Um, and this is in relation. Somebody's going to express their feelings. Thank you, spirit. All right. So we have clearance. Somebody is clearing out a cycle. I feel you've just completed one. And somebody's clearing out a cycle. I feel some of you may need to do some house cleaning, um, you know, not just like taking the trash out, washing clothes, but like cleanse your home, you know, wash your walls, you know, create like, um, you know, a nice, uh, a nice um, batch of like, uh, like a good wash. That's what I'll call it. A good spiritual wash so that you could like wash your walls, wipe down your cabinets, your, you know, your appliances, whatever, wipe everything down, doors, walls, um, you know, your furniture, everything that you can wipe down um, and just create like your own um, wash with you could use Florida water. You could use dragon dragon's blood um, resin, some of the dust in there. You could use a little bit of salt, put some spring water, um, but you could create your own wash, spiritual wash and just wash things. Smudge, of course, with Palo Santo sticks or sage. Um, you could even use like essential oils. Um, you could even like. Um, Boil, um, you know, some um, rue, if you have rue, um, rue plants, that's very powerful. Um, that's a very powerful plant that you could like um, boil some rue and you could just literally like sprinkle it around your home, wash your floors with it, um, with the water. Um, you can make a spiritual bath with that as well. Um, but there's several things you could do. So respect came out. So somebody is going to perhaps, you know, communicate even um, how much they respect you. You know, somehow how much they care for you, how much they have, um, they admire you. You know, this is something that will um, be, you know, kind of like shocking because I feel like you, you may not have known this. Maybe you felt it because you are very sensitive and intuitive. But I feel like this person definitely um, is going to finally express something to you because there are five candles, you know, um, here in this circle. And I strongly feel like if you guys... Um, I mean, if you didn't work with them, maybe this is somebody that lives in your community. Um, maybe this is somebody that you know, um, somebody that you maybe you work with. I don't know. I just feel strongly like this is somebody you may have worked with. Or maybe this is just somebody that you could have lived with, somebody that you know in your com community that has some sort of, um, you know, some sort of affinity towards you. And they will be communicating to you. This person has been trying to manifest you as well. If you see there's a masculine there lighting a candle, setting intention. You know, hold on one moment. Let me get some water. I feel very cotton mouth and I got the hiccups. Excuse me. I hope that wasn't too loud in your ear. So annoying. I'm sorry. So we have adventure and so we have secrets. See that? What did I say? Somebody was hiding their feelings and we have book of shadows and this says secret. So somebody was secretly you know, feeling a certain way. You have a secret admirer. This is somebody that has been holding their feelings in, holding back. And now with this 55, the adventure, they're going to come towards you. They're going to finally, um, you know, take that leap of faith. They're going to finally get out of their head and they're going to be, you know, proactive. They're going to be spontaneous. They're just going to say what they need to say. Because this is somebody that has already been setting the intention. 
trying to set the mood also, sending good energy your way, sending those psychic and telepathic messages to let you know that they're thinking of you so that you will not forget them. Because as I said, I don't feel there's any communication, but this person truly feels love. There's love there. And see that initiation. So there is this sense that this person is trying to, um, trying to call you in, you know, and this is says spirit. So they could be calling on, you know, the angels and guides. Maybe you all have been, you know, asking the divine to send you, you know, that some, some sort of beautiful uh, love partner, somebody that's going to speak your love language, someone that you're going to be equally yoked with, you know, and not somebody that's just going to boggle you down, hold you back. You know, you want to be in a very profound connection. And we have Miles Davis playing, and this is called Solia. Yeah, so this is going to be like your soul mate because this is called soul Leah. So this is like, yeah, somebody that's going to be like a soul mate. And I feel like a lot of you have been, you know, doing, you've been manifesting this because we have the manifestation card here. We also saw the power card. And this was all about like clearing up karmic cycles. Look what's underneath this. Can't make this shit up. See this? This is what you have here. We have clearance and then we have this beautiful connection of fertility. It says... Uh, Beltane. And this is a masculine and feminine's energy here. There's a lot of passion, a lot of synergy, a lot of connectivity. And I feel like, you know, someone is just wrapping up a cycle, completing a cycle so that they could come back into union. This could be like a past life love. Look at this. And this is a protected union. I feel you all are very protected as well. Remember, I was picking up earlier, like you all have a lot of protection because there's been a lot of spying, a lot of negative shit going on behind the scenes. People just have a lot of, um, you know, I call it misplaced anger because they don't take accountability and they don't own up to their shit. But with this energy here, I feel like this union is protected. And I feel like if anyone is trying to come in between um, this divine connection, I feel like this is a, a very spiritual, um, spiritually protected union. Look what's on the bottom of the next deck I'll be using. You plus me, you have a spiritual union that is developing, a love story. This is not just any type of love story. This is going to be like your divine counterpart. And you was dealing with a lot of fakeness in the past and you cut it off. And that's why you're going to have, you know, this beautiful connection. Because as I said before, that's why you're very protective of who you allow back into your lives. Because you already dealt with that. You dealt with someone who could have, you know, could literally abandoned you. You know, they could have abandoned you for someone else. Thought the grass was going to be greener on the other side, but they only came into your life so that you would not, so you can learn to love yourselves and not ever settle knowing your worth. That's what you had to learn, to know your worth, you know, and to not just allow people to demand your time and your energy. See this, these were people you emotionally invested in and you didn't get anything back. There was a lack of reciprocity, but I feel in this new cycle, you're attracting someone that's going to be just as, um, not only just as balanced emotionally, but just as spiritual. You're matching with someone that's on your vibration. See, this is what you all were doing. You focused on mastering your crafts, honing your skills. And that's why you had that spiritual career card show up. Because I do feel like a lot of you in learning to heal thyself, you've become healers. And you may have learned a thing or two which worked very well for yourselves that you can share with others to help them heal in their process. OK, so we have you have people who are in secret competition with you. Keep your business to yourself. This is the first card to come out. And why? Because you're the divine feminine. Why? Because you have grown. You have matured. These are people who are still stuck where you left them and they're pissed off. You are the divine feminine. So you don't have time, you know, to entertain that type of negativity. That's why I said you're very sensitive about who you allow in. And some of these people from your past are taking it very um, personal that you have uh, kind of evolved, that you've grown and that you've moved on. And they're in secret competition with you. You could have people that are kind of like smiling and beguiling your face, pretending to be happy for you. But they're secretly trying to plot your, you know, your downfall. And it's because you've grown and you're very psychic, you know, so you're picking up on this energy. You you speak energy at this point. You know, that's why I was picking up like sensitivity. So you know that you have a lot of people that don't really fuck with you, but they pretend to fuck with you. And see that? What did I say? Look at this. No time for fake ones. This is what you did. You cut these people off because you already knew 
you know, that these people were, you know, they, that when you are too proud, when you are too egotistical, um, that's like, that's blind ignorance, you know, because nobody is perfect. So it's like, you know, those are the type of people who, you know, refuse to, to work on themselves because they, they think that they're, in their mind, they're the shit. And you're supposed to think you're the shit, but you're not supposed to think you're, you know, you're completely, um, you know, um, someone that could go without correction. You know, so I feel like that's what you had to cut off those egotistical people, even in your own mind. You know, you had to, like I said, you had to adjust the way that you were uh, dealing with these individuals and adjust the way you was pers um, the way that you were. How do you say perceiving certain things, you know, even in the control, because Scorpios can be very, you know, very much the type that want to control things just to to and, and, and it's a protect protection mechanism it's like very it's more so based on um, us trying to protect ourselves but you don't want to build a wall and then you're just kind of like imprisoned so that's why I feel like you know that that mindset in and of itself had to be changed that's why the sword is here boundaries you know because this is like you know finally cutting yourself free maybe that you were growing sensitive to the energy around you and what you had to do was create these walls but then these walls began to imprison you and, you know, it was because you were trying to protect yourself that you were now, um, you know, trying to control the way things were happening in the narrative. And, and, and that's what had to change was the, your per perception of it. And I hope that makes sense until you had this truth, this epiphany, this aha, that moment of clarity. And you realize, like, um, you had to cut those things off, period. You couldn't keep those relationships that were toxic and maintain balance. You know, because there was a conflict, a conflict of interest. And so you realize, OK, I got to cut off what no longer serves my highest good. I got to cut off these things because it's not allowing me to uh, be my authentic self unapologetically. It's almost like they were making you feel guilty for evolving, for changing, you know. And a lot of these people were very uh, egotistical, like I said, not willing to take fault and blame. And so within those relationships you were creating these these protective bubbles and but still extending yourself and that's like an oxymoron you can't do both it's either you you be in the toxic relationship or don't and i feel like you chose the latter so with this no time for fake one snip 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 and then you got this sword boundaries that's exactly what you did archangel mikael came through with that sword of truth baba ogun came through brought through the brick breakthrough and the victories and you cut yourself free from that which was keeping you constricted and, 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 and stagnant and stuck. So why is pride and boundaries here? Divine spirit of love and light. Divine spirit, thank you. See that? What did I say? Toxic behavior. This is toxic behavior, you know, whether that's habits, you know, whether that's people around you, whether that's your faulty belief system, you know, this is what was happening. And that's what, you know, when you have too much pride, too much of anything isn't good for you. And so that's what you cut off. You cut off the toxicity. And that, that, that gave you that lightness I was feeling. I was feeling you all were lighter. That's why that Tears of Joy song was playing by um, Faith Evans. All right. And so we have you are a miracle and you deserve the best. This is what you realize. Once you got rid of the dead weight, you started to see things clearly. You started to see who you were. You started to have, you know, new, new, um, a whole new perspective. You know, you had a whole new look on life, on what you want, what, on your vision, you know, on what you desired. And you started to manifest. You got real busy. You were able to start, you know, you was able to get busy now because it's, you didn't have that, that toxicity weighing you down. So you started to like master your craft. You started to realize that you were special, that you were gifted. And you started to hone those gifts. You started to pay closer attention to those gifts. And you began to manifest. And you realized you were master manifestors. And you manifested a lot of the newness that was, you know, coming into your life, pouring in. I heard the word pouring into your life. So some of you all may have moved, relocated. Like you manifested everything. You manifested the new apartment that you got, that new car you drove, that you're driving. You manifested the new, um, the new job. You know what I'm saying? That you that you just got the promotion that you you just received, like you started to manifest, started to manifest like, you know, um, growth on your your uh, social media platforms or in within your own personal businesses. 
It's like you began to get busy because you you realize it was in that moment. You realize um, who you were. You know, you realize you had the power, you know, to do this. So divine spirit, love and light. Why is new beginnings and manifestation here for our beloved Scorpios? Thank you. See that? So choose wisely. Everything that glitters is in gold. So this is what's um, and I don't even like this message. I don't like that message for that, but it's okay because this is what the divine. So this is what you're doing moving forward this time around. Like I said, um, okay, I see why this came out because remember I was saying earlier about you all uh, being like the hiring manager now, and you're going to be very mindful of who you recruit and who you, um, who you take in, you know? And so it's like, now, you know, to be very mindful with the choices, you know, just because some shit is glistening and glowing on the outside doesn't mean the inside is going to match that. So it's like, you're looking for quality. You're looking for people that are authentic. That is, um, genuine at the end of the day. And this is this new perspective that you were able to, um, that you have now after, you know, perhaps having faulty belief systems and ideologies after thinking, you know, from a toxic perspective of, of just like, you know, like I said, um, you know, maybe th acting out of pride and ego. And, you know, now you're looking at things, uh, you know, from a completely different vantage point. And now, you know, to, to make wiser choices, um, and not only just in love, but in everything you do. And, um, right now we have, um, third base, and this is called the gas face. So yeah, th and this is why, um, look at that. We got, it says you're, ex you've experienced many life changes. Congratulations. So this is what the divine is, um, saying to you. I feel like the divine is very pleased, very proud. And this is why you have, you know, the respect, you know, you, you, you're, you're get, you're garnering the respect of not just, you know, your peers in business, your boss, um, your supervisor, or, you know, the higher ups at your job, at your place of employment. But I also feel like your spirit team, your angels. Um, I feel like you're respected, period, um, because you're a great communicator for one. Uh, you bring love and light um, and a, a, just a high vibration to any atmosphere. It's like when you walk in the room, you shift the whole energy in that bitch. It's like you j your presence is strongly felt. And I also feel like you feel that sense of confidence because you are spiritually aligned. You feel balanced. Everything is really just, you know, your energy grounds the people around you. You're like an energy, um, field, you know, like you're, you're an, en you, you just generate positive energy. And I feel like the way that you communicate or what you express is very healing to the people around you. Like you, you just bring a naturally loving, nurturing energy. Um, and with the gas face plan, I feel like some people don't like it. I feel like some people are jealous and envious because remember you have, you have people who are in secret competition with this divine feminine, the Empress. Now don't get the Empress, you know, twisted. She, she can be, you know, very loving and soft and gentle and kind, but she is a force to be reckoned with. So it's like these people see that you're, you know, getting some sort of rewards, recognition, um, and it's like they're, they're salty about it. They got the gas face. If you think of the gas face, it's like you, you turning your nose up. You're looking at somebody like with the stank face. And it's because you're respected. You know, it's because you're also getting some sort of um, attention. Maybe you're in the spotlight. Like I said, maybe you have some sort of social media uh, platform and you're just, you know, it's growing your channel. Your platform is growing. Um, maybe you have a YouTube, maybe you have a Twitter, maybe you have a TikTok account, Instagram, but it's like your voice is now being heard and you're seen as a ray of light. It's like you're like shining, you know, shining bright like a diamond. I'm hearing that Rihanna, Rihanna, <laughs> Rihanna song, shine bright like a diamond. That's what you all are doing. And you're like that diamond in the rough. Remember, you're a miracle and you deserve the best. And that's what you feel. So that confidence is also radiating. And, um, and so this is what the divine is saying. Congratulations, because you have completely, um, not only did you completely, you know, um, smash that shit like not only did you, you 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 end this cycle but things have come full circle and you've managed all of that pressure all of the stress all of the pain agony and you did it with 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 integrity with self-love with respect you didn't you know you didn't go out of your way to to curse people out or to smear their name or to um fall into the trap of doing what they did to you or trying to even um 
you know, to to um, argue back and forth. You know, you, you just let the divine deal with it, you know, and this is why you're respected, you know, and we have yo-yo playing. You can't play with my yo-yo. And so, yeah, the divine is like, you can't play with my Scorpio. <laughs> That's what I'm hearing. You can't play with the Scorpio because y'all have evolved, you know, and it says personal growth and, and lady goddess. Come on now, you're the divine feminine. That's what you leveled up to. So you leveled up to that, that, that um, divine feminine, divine masculine status. And that's why you're being congratulated. So why is um, uh, communication and pentacle respect here? Why is communication? Some of y'all are going to receive a very, um, some happy news about money. All right. So I'm going to put these cards back in here. I'm going to put these back on in. Let me see. Make sure these cards are in the right position. There we go. All right. There we go. Yeah, somebody that was trying to play you out and they feel respect. They, they have respect for you, you know, because maybe this person, like I said, maybe they, they, you know, this is somebody who could have, um, you know, maybe they didn't see your worth and value in the past. And now they they see you as, um, you know, the total package. And so look at that. Looking for that happily ever after. And with this 33 in respect, somebody is absolutely seeing you as, you know, uh, not only that that divine counterpart, but they're looking at you as somebody that they can like, you know, build a legacy with a family. This is somebody that's very invested, you know, in long term commitment, someone that wants to, you know, settle down. I'm here and put a ring on it. Um, this is somebody that definitely has a lot of respect for you. Some of you all, this is someone that you will um, build a family with, you know, and this person is going to enlighten you with these feelings. You may be, see that? Look, mama bear. So some of you all, this could be someone that is absolutely, they, they want to plant seeds and roots. This is somebody that wants they, that when you say looking for happily ever after, this is going to be that person that you, you know, this is it. You know, this is who you will. And I don't even like settling down, but this is who you will um, rise in love with. You know, this you someone that you will build with. You will not only build a home and a family and a legacy, but, you know, perhaps go into business with one another. You know, maybe the two of you will be that power couple. But this person does communicate with you because they do have plans. It's like trust your intuition because you may already know who this is. A lot of you all, this is how they feel about you. Like you, the mama bear is a very protective, you know, very loving, very nurturing energy, you know, and this is that energy that this person sees you and they see you as the divine feminine. They see you as, you know, that divine counterpart. So that's beautiful. So why is secret and um, adventure here for Scorpios? These cards are all over the place. So this person might be stuttering. See, this not not with the shits came out. Cut the karmic cords, lesson already learned, ready to love, open to the new, and put you in your needs first. So this is what this person could be dealing with. They could be dealing with some sort of karmic, like I said, they're secret. They're holding in their feelings. They've been keeping these feelings very secret, you know, but everything in them is telling them, look, you got to communicate because this is double fives, you know, so I feel like this person is like literally being told by spirit, you have to you have to cut that karmic off because whoever, because remember you had clearance here. So your person could be closing out a cycle, could be in a connection with someone that they no longer have, you know, um, any, any type of feelings towards, you know, it's almost like it's, it's just, you know, it's almost like, um, an obligation at this point, but the divine is telling them, look, you got to clear out the cycle. Now it's on you now. Scorpio already did their part. So now it's on you to clean out your cycle so that you can have this divine counterpart so that you could have this love that you desire because somebody is, you know, kind of somewhere feeling obligated. This is what you had to learn. These are the lessons you had to learn, you know, is was to to not self-sabotage, overcompensate. You know, somebody's tired of um, the games. I'm going to put those in because too many came out, but I just wanted to expound. So let's see. Oh, man. Ugh, see this? And I'm, I think this is your message because I was about to just expound. Where did it go? There it is. Look at this. Do not settle for less. And we have the whispers and the beat goes on. And then their protective bubble. Do not disturb this groove or don't disturb this groove. So this is what this person needs to do. OK, 
because this person knows that they need to not settle. This is why adventure is here because they want to be more daring, more risky. They want to take that leap of faith and they want to um, reveal the secret. You know, they want to share with you how they've been feeling. You know, this is what they've been secretly holding in and they've been settling whatever relationship or connection they're in is, you know, they're, they're settling. And this is someone new. I feel like this is your 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 um, twin flame. I feel strong twin flame. I feel strong divine counterpart energy, you know, and within the beat goes on. It's like, you know, with whispers is what's really radiating. I feel like this person is whispering these things to you um, in your dreams, you know intuitively it's like a whisper you know it's just they're carrying you in their spirit right now they're settling and everything in them is telling stop settling and with whisper they're whispering the secret you know it's like it's coming to you you're you're very sensitive so they know you are picking up on the energy like i said they could be watching you and maybe you know just from your posts online they're learning more they're strategizing and they're planning you know to uh you know take action so why is um, love, initiation, and protection here for Scorpio? And we have take your power back now. And we have your vulnerability is your superpower. So your ability to, um, to be loving, to be empathic and compassionate is your superpower. So I do feel like... Um, your person, because I get dual messages. Remember, we had two cards pull out, right? So with initiation, and then we have protection here, and then we have initiation. So with take your power back, and then we have love. Someone is telling someone, the beat goes on, right? The beat goes on. You, you, you can't, you know, stay somewhere in these restraints. Because if you're unhappy, then it's time for you to leave that situation. Life goes on. You know, if the beat goes on, the life goes on. You know, so this is what is being um, shared with this person, your person that's coming in. This is your divine counterpart trapped in a relationship that they no longer want to be in, that they no longer feel any type of connection with their person. And I feel like everything in them is, is telling them that they need to move on and not settle. They need to go and find what it is they're looking for because what they want is happily ever after. And what they have right now could be just a relationship that's keeping them confined, you know, and they're concealing these feelings with your vulnerability is your superpower. This person could be very sensitive, you know, this person. And this is why somebody's playing on, you know, the fact that they know some your, your person could be, um, you know, very, very um, considerate, you know, and it's like. They could be selfless. One of those people, you know, in a relationship, they, they just feel obligated as I was picking up earlier. And, you know, their vulnerability is their, is their superpower. So maybe they need to listen to their intuition more. You know, maybe they have not been doing that. But they are protected. And I do feel this union is protected. And I feel like, you know, let's get one more message. See, we have mommy issues, daddy issues. So somebody could be, you know, literally like... Um, Breaking some sort of like childhood, um, you know, some they're, they're going like like healing their inner child. Maybe they're going through some sort of discourse with mother or father of their child. Um, and this is what they're trying to um, break free from. Like I said, there there's this obligation that someone feels. I just want to get one more message. Divine spirit. Why is love, initiation and protection here for Scorpio? Why is love? Because you are manifesting someone, you know, and, and it's almost like, you know, you've been initiated into this power, you know, this, this, this beautiful power of protection. And so it's almost like the divine is telling you to see that mindset. Somebody's trapped in their thoughts. And remember with this six, so mindset, somebody could be getting mind fucked. You know, somebody could be like manipulating someone's energy, maybe making some like guilt tripping someone with master your craft, sharpen your sword. Somebody needs to use their intuition. Somebody needs to like leave, you know, because I feel like your energy is very profound here. But I feel like whoever's coming in is working through like, you know, cutting themselves free from the entanglements. Because remember, lesson already learned, you know, cut the karmic cord, lesson already learned. So somebody's still stuck in a karmic connection. But remember, you had karmic completion, relationship change, and completion here. 
So you've already completed a cycle, but somebody needs to, you know, complete their cycle because you've already got to the end. The 10 is the end and the nine is, you know, somebody on the precipice of change and they're on the precipice of change within a relationship. So they have to, um, you know, break themselves free from some sort of relationship and they're going to have to do their healing. You know, somebody could be um, trying to just regain their stability after the breakup because they've been in a relationship so long that it's kind of hard to, to, you know, to to um, navigate, you know, get in your own place, paying all your bills, car note, food, rent, water, light, gas. And, um, you know, maybe that's what they're trying to sort through. But with this mindset, this is like I feel somebody also has um, intimate thoughts because the six, the love card that's you know your crown uh your first eye chakra and the mindset so this person could be like literally um having intimate thoughts just dreaming you know of you just carrying you around in their spirit so let's get some messages from look at this nine of baskets so this is like wish fulfillment this is also you in that energy of self-love is the best love you know not really giving everybody your time and your energy anymore this is also, you know, wish fulfillment, you know, blessings, blessings, opportunities coming through. It's like you, somebody sees you as so fine. We got Howard Johnson here. That person is walking away and they walked away to focus on the self. You know, self-love definitely makes you more attractive. And I feel like you have like triggered, activated someone, you know. Yeah, somebody's up in their head suffering from insomnia. This could be somebody also, um, you know, waking up during witching hours because they have somebody manipulating their energy. Because remember, we have initiation and then per circle of protection. So somebody could literally be doing some shit that could be causing confusion with the mind sex card here as well. And so somebody needs to just trust their intuition um, with five of knives. See that? That's arguments, fights, conflict. This is someone also speaking out, you know, the side of their mouth, like biting their own tongue, saying shit, you know, that's um, insensitive. That's people gossiping, also just saying shit, like don't even know what the fuck they're talking about. And this jealousy, envy, because we are about to clarify the personal growth, lady goddess, feminine energy. And you have people who are in secret competition with you. So these people are just like spreading lies, smear campaigns, defamation of character. And it's because you're fine. It's because you're attractive. It's because you're glowing. You're radiating love and light. It's because you're successful. You're abundant and you're not bothered. But they're bothered because you're not bothered. They're bothered that they're not bothering you. Because maybe in the past they was able to, to, to do so. And now you just like, look, look at this Dr. Buzzard. This is, you know, Mama Ma'at. You know, this is the the um, justice card. So this is like you reap what you sow. So these people who are, you know, literally trying to uh, defame your character and and say things um, that are just unfounded. It's like they're going to reap what they sow. They're going to receive karma. You know, some of them are going to lose their jobs. Some of them are going to have like some sort of um, it's going to be like a job loss. You know, they're going to be suffering financially. You know, this could be like getting sued, you know, for defamation of character um, these are people who feel left out. These are people, you know, that could have abandoned you in the past. Now they're going through some sort of karma dharma. And we have the son of coins here. So this is like a new opportunity, even a new idea, you know, revolutionizing some sort of idea, some sort of, you know, some sort of taking an idea and, and literally like mastering it. Because remember, you had master your craft, sharpen your sword on the bottom of the deck here. So this is like, you know, studious energy, studying, learning. And look at that. Look at these people gossiping in the background. I heard. I heard. And this motherfucker, you ain't heard shit because I don't talk to none, none of you motherfuckers. And look at your back is turned to them. So those are the people that are jelly because these are the people you cut off. And you're not letting them in. Look at her body language. You got your arms crossed and covering your heart chakra. So you're no longer allowing them to f affect you. And these are the people that are in secret competition, trying to study you, trying to learn you. These are people that, you know, hate what they can't duplicate. So these are people that you could have blocked. You could have blocked them on um, social media. You know, maybe you have people who could be randomly like requesting your friendship online. And it's because you've blocked so many people. I know for me, I block like a thousand plus people on my Instagram 
And ever since I did that, I've been getting like a thousand requests every day, you know, for my friendship. And I just be like, delete, 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 delete. I even had a couple of people like on my YouTube channel. And if you look, you know, they'll, they'll leave a negative comment. And, um, when I look at the, you know, the, the person, it'll say, uh, you know, that they just had their YouTube channel like 15 minutes ago. So these are people literally like going out of their way to try to get in because I block a lot of people like I don't have no time for the bullshit, you know. And so some of you all may need to do that as well. But we have the nine of baskets that showed right back up after all that shuffling I just did. This started out, you know, when I picked up the deck and now look what we have. And I lied. I said this wasn't going to be no deep dive. <laughs> and apparently spirit uh, said otherwise, you know. This was supposed to be a dip your toe into the waters. And this is a deep dive. We snorkeling right now. <laughs> but look, you got wish fulfillment. And this is self-love is the best love. Nine of baskets is literally like you being selfish with your time, with your energy, with your love, with your emotions. And it's because you're focusing on the self. This is because you are saying, look, this is about personal growth. So you're mastering your craft. You're learning. You're in a studious energy. This is you master manifesting. This is you building your wealth, um, building your wealth of knowledge, building a more stable, firm, solid foundation. This is you loving and nurturing your children loving the people around you, and it's because you walked away. We see the toxic behavior, boundaries, and then ego. Somebody's walking away. Somebody's finally, you know, this is that, that energy of like, this isn't working for me. I'm pouring into a, a vessel that has holes on the bottom. There's no reciprocity. There's no fulfillment here. I feel like I'm being emotionally bankrupt. I'm being emotionally like leached you know this is energy vampirism and someone's making the decision the choice this is a powerful choice a powerful move to just move and walk away and this is masculine energy so maybe that masculine that was being um you know egotistical and proud is having an ego death as i said but this is also you just walking away from those faulty belief systems and from those non-reciprocal relationships you know, and creating healthy boundaries, creating space. And that's the toxicity that you have since released. So why is pride, boundaries, toxic behavior here, divine spirit of love and light? Why is pride, boundaries, toxic behavior here for, oh, thank you. And so we have son of coins. See that? So this is you. This is you saying, okay, I'm not going to focus on the problem. I'm going to focus on the solution. And we have, we need a resolution playing by Aaliyah. And so this is what you've come to. We need a resolution. We could be you speaking to your higher self or your higher self rather speaking to you saying, look, we need a resolution. Ego death. Now you need to create healthy boundaries, get rid of the toxic belief systems, ideologies, people, places, things around you and focus on mastering a craft, focus on building a skill. Maybe some of y'all return back to school. Maybe you started to learn certain um you know, learn something um in particular. Maybe you picked up uh maybe violin practice, um, uh, violin um, lessons, piano lessons, guitar lessons. Maybe you joined a karate class, taekwondo, jujitsu. Um, maybe some of you, uh, like I said, learned how to make candles, craft candles, um, create your own potions and elixirs, oils, anointing oils. Maybe some of you went and took some classes on Reiki healing, crystal clearance, you know, whatever it is. This is you like building your wealth of knowledge. And whatever it is you're learning, it's like it's going to snowball into a big, um, you know, a, a big, fr I heard the word franchise. So some of y'all might be that good where you're going to have a franchise. Like, but this is like, it's just going to like snowball into something um, very successful for you. And it's because you had some sort of grand epiphany, some sort of download, some clarity. Like you literally got some sort of divine download um, as to what you need to focus on to get out of a negative mindset. And we have the son of sticks. And you see his body language is like he's like, no. You know, so this is what you literally it's about, you know, you making the right choices. It's this is like he's holding this this um, what appears to be like a branch or some sort of wand or a stick, you know, but he's also, you know, blocking out, you know, stopping just any type of energy. And it's because you're making wise choices. It's almost like you're, you're giving things the green light. It's like you're doing checks. You're doing an energy check. So if there is incoming communication 
or if there is some sort of incoming anything, it's like you're doing the energy check because you want to make sure it meets those requirements, you know, that it passes. I'm, I'm hearing passes inspection. You know what I'm saying? And it's because you have this new beginning that you don't want nothing to interfere with. And with this manifestation, that's why, because you're manifesting, you know, positivity, good things into your life, new love. And with we need a resolution, somebody could be trying to come back from your past. But this could have been somebody that chose glitter over gold. Because remember, you are a miracle and you deserve the best. That's the epiphany you had. And apparently somebody didn't see your worth and value, which means that they're, they, they made the wrong decision. So let's see why is new beginning manifestation. Choose wisely. Thank you, spirit. And we have Dwelle. Love Ultra, Three of Knives. See that? What did I say? Somebody broke your heart because they made a wrong decision. They chose to go, you know, water somebody else's grass only to discover that that grass was plastic as hell. And so their appearance, the appearance of the grass may have appeared to be just immaculate and, 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 and just so beautiful and green and lush. And what it was was plastic. And so they was trying to, you know, grow with something that was, you know, that was basically fake. They was dealing with somebody that was a false person, somebody that was wearing a mask, somebody that they didn't get to know, you know, truly, because they just, you know, went with the uh, exterior, you know, went with the exterior uh, exterior presence of that person. They didn't take the time to uh, investigate and, and delve deeper to get to know the person internally. So they got attracted and lured into some superficial connection dynamic. But I feel like, you know, with this energy, this here, you know, this is what you did after heartbreak, after disappointment and loss. I feel like you focused on, you know, the self. You have this brand new beginning. Somebody, someone was disloyal. You know, this person kind of like they, they shitted on you. It's like they was pissing on your head, telling you it was raining. So they was very deceptive. They was very selfish. This is that egomaniac. This is that person that just, you know, they didn't want to... Uh, work on the relationship with you they wanted to see what other options were out there and you know they went with something that just appeared to be a better option but it was plastic it was fake this was somebody that probably got them for all they ch all their coins but you've healed from that you've since healed you have this new start this new beginning and you're manifesting new things and you're very protective of your energy with the seven of wands you're like this is you like on some do not disturb my groove. I'm on my grown woman, grown man shit. And we have love ultra. You want ultra love. You don't want somebody who's just out looking for a fun time, a good time and not going to be there for a long time. You're looking for this happily ever after. And that's what you're holding out for. You're not going to accept anything that does not sit right in your spirit. That's why I said you're very, very mindful of who you're allowing in. If past people are coming in or trying to return, it's like you're very particular. You're not taking any past people back. You'll forgive, but you'll never forget. So going back to someone, an ex or someone that deceived you, betrayed you, backstabbed you like that, I don't, I don't see that happening with Scorpios unless it's an actual twin flame and unless this person has... Um, you know, atoned for the things they've done and they've really, you know, um, exhibited forgiveness by their actions, by, you know, showing you that they're going to, you know, that they've changed with their actions, like changed behavior. Like you see the growth. If you see that growth in that person, perhaps you'll consider for some of you, most of you, you'll just accept the apology and keep it pushing. You won't have no, you know, there'd be no lost love, no no, no um, ill will, no ill intent, but it's just you, you would not be interested in pursuing anything from your past because you're looking for somebody that's just going to know, you know, they're going to see and know um, not only your worth, but see and know that this connection is um, worth the fight. You want somebody willing to fight for their love as well, fight for the relationship, invest in the relationship as well. Why is communication, respect, looking for that happily ever after here? Thank you, spirit. Look at this, Aunt Caroline. This is the wheel of fortune. So you all are absolutely, um, there's a turning point. Something is changing. 
Um, this is beautiful news. This is abundance. Because the wish fulfillment is saying that there's great fortune coming in. Like I said in the beginning, I was picking up that some of y'all was going to get like a phone call or get a knock on your door suddenly. And then people are going to be standing there with a big fat check with your name on it. Some of you all are going to go to the gas station, scratch off that scratch off ticket and see a million dollars. You just won. Some of y'all are going to get a phone call. But there is something that's coming in. And you see this man taking this picture. Maybe something you're doing is bringing in some success, some abundance. Some, you know, you're getting, you know, respected, you're being, you know, rewarded, you're being recognized, you're being, um, you know, you're like in the spotlight, people are talking about you. And some of you all, you could have like podcasts, you know, you see how this, this camera is there on the side. So it's like, you know, your communicators, orators, maybe some of y'all speak, um, you know, do I hear I heard speak easy. So you could be like um, a poet. But I see that there's like you're going to garner the respects of your peers, you're going to garner the respect of uh, many people. You're going to get for, you know, great fortune from that. And you're also going to attract that person that is, you know, looking for marriage. Maybe that's how you'll meet them. You know, maybe they're watching you now. And this person will finally express something to you. And we have Knight of the Living Baseheads playing by Public Enemy. Knight of the Living Baseheads. So this is, I'm, I'm just feeling like, you know, because every time I speak of somebody that's watching you, I feel like you don't only just have like secret admirers watching you and people that are recognizing your skills and talents, but you, I, I just get, you know, with this, this energy, because this says night of the living base head. So these people definitely are like, you know, maybe they have addictions. You know, maybe these people are addicted to you. Like they're obsessed with you. I'm picking up. They feel obsessive. You know, they have like these obsessive um, habits and behaviors, you know, addictive behaviors, habits, whatever. It's just like, like I, I, like I was picking up earlier, like these people are just, you know, maybe they know someone. Um. Uh, I'm not going to say that. I don't I don't even got time for that energy. But whatever it is, it's like you're you're getting, you know, a lot of recognition. You're in the spotlight. People are seeing you as a star. And I feel like it's because, you know, some of you all are going to be like on the news. You know, the news is going to cover, you know, this this big win that you get. You know, people are going to be, you know, um, interviewing you and asking, did you ever think you'll win three hundred million dollars? <laughs> Because I saw the 33, so I just said 300 million. So I'm going to put that some you just claim it because something's coming. This is like a turning point. So this is like literally like wish fulfillment, blessings, opportunities is, you know, whatever was blocked and locked and, you know, being, you know, delayed is like now it's rolling in, you know. And I feel like you're going to be in the spotlight because I see this man like taking this this um, this divine feminine's picture. And so I do feel like, you know, this is like. You know, you're being respected, you know, and this is your karma. This is good karma. The seed you've planted, this is what you are now um, reaping. You're reaping the rewards of all of your hard work, effort, and it's because of the growth. You know, remember you had congratulations. You know, you've been through many changes. So the divine is literally bringing this wish fulfillment. This is like great fortune. This ain't no no little bit of change. Like this ain't no $500 payout. Like y'all are going to get some good money that you're going to be able to like invest it in other things, flip you know, you know, some of y'all might get into flipping houses, you know, but this is beautiful. This is good karma, you know, and this is like, you know, somebody is also coming in to communicate a truth. Something's coming to light clarity. Maybe you all are going to receive some sort of will, some sort of insurance payout. You know, whether like, you know, you had some sort of accident in a car and you're waiting for that. Or maybe you fell at a store, a large franchise. That's why that word probably, you know, maybe the franchise, maybe somebody fell, had an accident in a large franchise and you wait and have your lawyers, you know, doing the paperwork and you're about to get a, a large settlement. Maybe there was a botched operation or, you know, medical procedure and you're getting a large payment. It's like a turning point. But um, and look at this. You got the Queen of Cups here that flew out. And this is the adventure, the um, what is that? And um secret and then do not settle for less so yeah somebody definitely loves you somebody is like they looking at you as that divine feminine you see those roses there and then look here right behind um you know this goddess energy so those are roses 
and roses represent love. So this is the secret this person has been holding. And we have Memories Live by uh, Talib Kweli. And this is called Reflections Eternal. So somebody has these, ref these eternal reflections on the past because they're memories of you. You know, maybe the two of you used to just go out and do shit spontaneously, have fun. And maybe the relationship they, they're in is like they're settling. They're unhappy. They're just sitting there day in, day out watching TV. They're probably sitting in two separate rooms. And it was like with you, look at this big smile. It's like you brought joy, you brought light, you brought love, you brought happiness, peace to their soul. You know, and you was always like lending a helping hand. They may see you as someone that was just very giving, very kind. You know, you just extended yourself a lot and now you're not. This person has learned a lot, you know. They, they also may have a journal. You know, they may, you know, scribe in their journal. They may be, may be like really working towards manifesting you back as well because they know they need to stop settling. This is what keeps, you know, kind of like um, this is the download they keep getting. You know, maybe they're in a marriage and they know like I got to get out of this marriage because I'm settling and I'm unhappy. And then everything, you know, every time they close their eyes, they're seeing you. And with this 55, that's the end. So they need to end this, 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 you know, this um, very lackluster connection. Because it's like they, they're at the end of the road. And I'm hearing all the weaker to the end of the road. So somebody's definitely at the end of the road, you know what I'm saying, in this relationship. And they want to come towards you like, you know. Want to take that leap of faith with that adventure? You know, maybe they was afraid. I was feeling earlier that somebody was like literally just like paralyzed in fear, you know. And maybe they're learning how to express themselves, communicate more. They're learning how to emote. So why is love, um, initiation, power, uh, I mean um, protection here? And we have the daughter of knives. Look at that. This is the energy with initiation. Somebody's trying to hold someone back. But this person has come to the realization. You see that with the daughter of knives? That's like, you know, people just kind of holding someone back, trying to keep them stuck and stagnant. But they have clarity because there's a light shining down on the crown chakra. And they're sitting here at this table, you know. Somebody could literally be doing some sort of spell work because it looks like, you know, this person is summoning some sort of energy because you see here. Let me see. And with this protection, that's why somebody's protected. So someone is being protected by their angels and their guides. Someone's trying to initiate some sort of, um, you know, trying to initiate something to, to keep someone bound and stuck. Maybe this is someone's like, you know, conscious, you know, they're being mind fucked because we have daughter of knives and with love. Maybe they're riddled with, you know, regret, remorse. And agony because they didn't, you know, pursue a particular love story. But they're taking their power back. You know, this is what the divine is telling them. Take your power back because the divine is protecting them. So if someone is summoning up some sort of demonic entities, you know, sending psychic attacks, I do feel like, you know, somebody was struggling with some sort of psychic attacks or spiritual attacks. But their superpower is, you know, being vulnerable. And they need to be vulnerable in terms of like just succumbing to whatever it is their intuition is telling them because the intuition is saying, look, take your power back. You got the power. You got to know you got the power. If you see yourself as stuck, then you're going to be stuck. But if you see yourself as having the power, then you have the power. You got the power. The page of knives is also somebody's spying. So somebody's literally like spying on someone else. And with the seven of coins, this is literally having like, um, you know, worked very hard. You know, but feeling like you don't really see that payout. You don't really see, you know, where things have improved too much. And it's just like, you know, that's why the divine is like, you got to open up your eyes, um, you know, and pay attention to what's going on around you. Use your intuition always. Never submit your will. Let's get one more message. Never submit your will to anybody, you know. All right. All these cards, the only card that flew up as I was talking about. Listen to your intuition. This is somebody feeling like they're truly stuck. But this is all um, self-imposed. Just as I was saying earlier, we got the seven of baskets and the seven of coins again and the nine of swords. So this is a choice somebody has to make. 
and they got to make a choice that's going to literally put them back in a position where they are in control and in power because the eight of swords is is like you know this could be those people that could be manipulating their energy and sending those psychic attacks or this could just be them you know literally like this this is self-deception self-sabotage and not using intuition but there is protection here and we have um kendrick lamar and oh no i don't, I don't know the name of that but uh this is um for real and this is called love will be waiting at home so this person is going to make it to you love will be waiting at home so this person is going to return home to you. This is somebody that knows that you're like home, you know, and I'm hearing love is a house by um, the force MDs. So there is a divine force that's going to bring the two of you together. That's why I was picking up with this protection card. The two of you, this is a spiritual um, and divine connection. And this person is going to find their way back to you. They're just trying to work and navigate out of a toxic relationship, you know, out of something that is toxic that they have been in. And we do see here that they're going to have to, um, they're going to have to leave that relationship. I also feel like this person will eventually get to you and the two of you will be able to develop one. So your person is in a karmic relationship, whoever your person is. Um, I feel strongly this is like a twin flame. And I feel this person is navigating their way out of a karmic relationship the same as you. I feel like this is someone that you either may have met before. Um, maybe if you work together, you will know um, if you were in a connection where it felt like this is my person. But maybe it just never took off. Maybe you met somebody at your place of employment or not but I see you know with that pentacles I was just picking up somebody that you worked with or somebody that you made money with or somebody that you may have lived around it could have been a neighbor whatever it is um, but there's gonna be a turning point and I feel like it's because this person is just constantly getting downloads they're constantly seeing the synchronicities constantly seeing the signs all around them that they need to um, reach out they need to communicate and so they've been doing so telepathically in the 5d but they are eventually going to, um, you know, reach out and communicate. They're just navigating a very toxic um, relationship right now. And it's with somebody who could potentially be, you know, manipulating their energy, doing spell work, you know, spying and, and, and probably found like some sort of journal or some sort of entry. And they saw the, how this person secretly felt about you. Maybe somebody discovered someone's secrets. But this is your reading, beloved Scorpios. I hope the messages resonate. Um, if you found that it did, please be kind. Hit the like, the share, the subscribe. Definitely hit the bell notification so you know whenever I upload. If you are new, I hope you stay a while. And if you are returning, you already know what it is, beloveds. Love is love is love. Until next time, Ashe. Have a beautiful weekend. If I don't speak to you, love and light.